bro, everything in life is not because you black. Everything in life is not because you black, bro. Half of the stuff that happens to us happens to a different race all the time. Happens to a different race all the time, bro. It's not because you black. It's not at all. If you stop putting race on everything and start to look at things differently, you won't even see race. So stop making excuses for the stop making excuses for black people, bro. We we is we we human just like y'all. We go through the same stuff just like y'all. In today's age, everybody's going through the same stuff, bro. We're going through a gas price of crisis. We're going through gas crisis right now. Gas crisis. Five, $56 on gas. I want to cry. We're going through gas crisis, gas crisis right now, and you want to talk about rates. White people, say one hard thing in life you deal with. Hey, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG. Without further ado, man, let's get it. Let's go. White people say one hard thing in life. Try being a white person in this day and age. Try being a black person in the 1940s, 1950s, 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s. See, here's the difference. Black people have been going through fucking hell and being treated like shit for decades and centuries. Yet you make white people go through it and be held accountable for their fucking actions for a couple fucking years and all they do is get on this fucking app and cry about it. Bro, hold on. First of all, first of all, let me let, let me actually let me actually speak some facts. Now, the 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 uh young white lady, okay, she said oh, try being white in this uh day and age. That is true. You know what I'm saying? That is honestly true. Try being try being every race in this day and age. I mean, we always point the finger. This that, this, 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 this. like, bro, stop pointing the finger, dude. You talking about stuff that happened back then? Like, to be honest and to be fair, half of the black community have not even been through half of the stuff that our ancestors been through because we was born in a day and age where that stuff didn't even exist no more. But they still use that slavery as an excuse for even young black people to, oh, don't, don't do this. Don't, like, bro, come on now. You're still using the same excuse. So try being black in this time. Try being black in this time. Like, like bro, what you go, what y'all just go keep sucking on meat? Like, I'm, I'm being honest because I'm tired of, I'm tired of certain white people giving black people excuses to make themselves seem cool or to make themselves invited to the cookout. Like, I'm just sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of it, honestly, because I understand what our ancestors have been through. I understand what, you know, our grandparents and everybody been through. And to be fair, half our grandparents are deceased and passed away. And I and I get it. I'm not saying let's forget about slavery. But what I'm saying is we should move past it and stop using it as an excuse to keep to keep um, racism still alive. I feel like we should stop using it as an excuse. And then we have people like him who keep this living and keep saying, oh, try being black people, try being this, try being that. Like, bro, try being any race in this day and age today, bro. We live in America. White people go through the same stuff black people go through. Black people go through the same stuff white people go through. But we, Bro, we live in America. We all going through the same crisis right now. It ain't nothing different. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to bring up police in this, bro, it's funny to me how people will literally blame pe black people will literally police this or uh, if the police and this and that. But I guarantee if something happened in your life, the first thing you do is call the police. So <laughs> I'm just being real, bro, because y'all got y'all got to stop being hypocrites, especially black people. Bro. Stop being hypocrites to the things y'all say. You know what I'm saying? Y'all would say, oh, well, white cops always doing this to us. White cops always doing this to us. But if somebody was to break in your car right now, the first thing you go do is call 911. If somebody was to break into your house right now, if you don't have your concealed to carry, if you don't have any type of weapon, the first thing you go do is call 911. So stop bashing cops. Stop saying cops do this to y'all because the same thing cops do to black people, the same thing they'll do to a white person. It's all about, it's, it's literally all about, um, I, I, I don't want to say, I, I don't want to say comprehend. But it's it's just all about complying, complying. That's it. That's all you got to do with, when it comes to police. If you don't want to get beat, comply. Just do what they say. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got to do, bro. I just seen a white man two days ago get pulled over by five cops. I was going to record it and say, oh, uh, he's not black. He's white. So why is he being pulled over? I was going to try to make a joke out of it. But truth be told, bro, I see this stuff each and every day, especially me living in the suburbs with nothing but white people. I see white people get pulled over every day. I see white people get pulled over by 10 different cops, but then a black person get pulled over by 10 different cops. It's always, oh, they don't do it because I'm black. Then what you got to say for the white man that got pulled over by five different cops? I, 
I'm just saying, bro. Like, stop using the slavery stuff as an excuse, bro. Let's fucking have a cry about it. Let me educate you on two fucking things. One, the people that were born in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s are still fucking alive. So while your grandma could go to her favorite restaurant and have her nice steak, black people fucking couldn't. Two. Exactly. Past tense. They couldn't. They couldn't. Bro, we can do that now. They couldn't. Why are you still like they couldn't do that at first? So at the same time, a black person go to a black person go to a fancy restaurant right now, a top tier restaurant, and buy a hundred fifty some dollar steak. Roof Chris, for example, we can go to Roof Chris right now as black people and pay the money to get a steak without people saying, "Oh, there goes the look at them black people." Oh my gosh, them black people over there. Uh, they look kind of dirty. Like we don't have to do that no more. I wish we could just be grateful and blessed that we have the freedom that we have now. But no, people want to still use slavery and what we couldn't do and what we could do. Come on, bros. Instead of trying to find answers to justify your way of thinking, why don't you actually fucking listen to black people for what they have to say? And then when they don't agree with you, you go out and you find one or two black people that do actually agree with you. And you're like, well, see, I found a black person who agrees with me, so I'm not crazy. Yet, there's a million fucking plus of them who don't. So maybe you're not fucking right. Maybe you need to shut the fuck up and listen. And I know you ain't listening to me right now. You just rolling your eyes while you watching the fucking video. And the only time you I'm definitely because I have no clue what the f I have no clue what what you're talking about. I, I don't. I honestly truly don't, bro. I, I don't. And you know what's crazy? I realized that it's not even the older generation that talk about this stuff. It's really the younger generation. And what I mean by younger generation, the people that's like literally, I say 30s, 40s, 50s, maybe maybe 60s I, I consider 60 and all i consider all that young i consider you old when you at least reach i consider you old when you can't move on your own that's when i like okay you're old you know what i'm saying when you can't do certain things on your own like as an older person with you know older people really can't do the do things and that's when i consider you old but it's only the old it's only the younger generation that talks about this stuff and i always say over and over again bro you was born in 2006. You ain't you ain't witness and go through a single thing. The only thing you went through was getting your phone taken and being on punishment. You ain't go through a single thing. So stop saying, oh, it's because I'm black. I'm black, so they do this to me. Bro, everything in life is not because you black. Everything in life is not because you black, bro. Half of the stuff that happens to us happens to a different race all the time. Happens to a different race all the time, bro. It's not because you black. It's not at all. If you stop putting race on everything and start to look at things differently, you won't even see race. But nah, apparently black people is to, like, they put race on everything. And don't get me wrong, I know it's some racist white people out there. I know it's some racist black people. I know there are. And I ain't saying racism is not alive. Today, it is. But my whole thing is, white people make excuses for black people. They always make excuses for the black people. I feel like they do it to seem cool. Like, people were supporting Black Lives Matter like crazy. A lot of white people were supporting Black Lives Matter. And I'm like, wh why? Why? Why are you supporting this movement? But that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day, bro. You do agree with black people is when they have the same kind of thinking, the same kind of mindset, and the same kind of religious beliefs as you. And if they don't, they just need to get the fuck up out of this country and leave, right? What? What? Oh my gosh, people are so delusional, bro. I Honestly, I just, I don't understand. And if you want me to be honest, when that lady said, try being white in today's age, I feel her on that. And why I feel her on that is because everybody blame white people for so many different things. I mean, they get the, they get, they get the, uh, the pointing finger all the time. They get the pointing finger all the time. We always blame white people for this, white people for that. It could be a whole Hispanic person, but we'll say they white because they scam. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I do that. You know what I'm saying? I do that a lot. But white people get blamed for a lot of different things, and we don't see it as black people. We don't because we 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 just look at self. We don't look at a whole community of people. We just look at self. We look at the things that happens to us. You know what I'm saying? 
And half of the times that things that happen to black people haven't even happened to certain black people. But it be on black people that things haven't even happened. Like, okay, let's say, for example, uh, a poli a white police officer shoot a black person, right? Okay, we haven't even seen a full story. But, yeah, we're going to say, oh, because he's black. Because he's black, I'm tired of this. America needs to do better. <laughs> we haven't even seen a full story. But we instantly say, oh, because he's black. And then we start to hate white police officers. I mean, let's be like... We put a discrimination on everything, bro. Like we we say we say white people, white people this, white people that, but at the same time, we we don't want to be we don't want to be discriminated, but we discriminate police officers. We say, oh, uh, police officers, all police officers bad because one police officer shot a black person. So then we say the whole community of police officers bad. One white person did this to a black person. Then we say the whole white people, the whole community of white people is just racist and terrible. I mean, we don't want to be discriminated, but then we end up discriminating a whole group of commu a community, a group of people because of what they because of what one person did out of their community. One person, one person do something, one person do something out of our community, and we 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 don't we don't look at that though. We don't want to be discriminated. We don't we don't want to be hurt. We don't want to be judged because we're black. We don't want to be judged because uh, so many black people still kill and and do these type of things. We don't want to be judged as that. But yeah, we judge a whole group of white people. We judge a whole group of police officers. And not all police officers bad. Not all white people is bad. But yeah, we we do a whole community of them. All I'm saying is, bro, stop being a hypocrite, bro. Stop making excuses for the stop making excuses for black people, bro. We we is we we human just like y'all. We go through the same stuff just like y'all. In today's age, everybody's going through the same stuff, bro. We're going through a gas price of crisis. We're going through gas crisis right now. Gas crisis. $56 on gas. I want to cry. We going through grass crisis, gas crisis right now and you want to talk about race. We got a terrible president that don't care about us and you want to talk about race. Ooh, Musa, 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 Musa. Okay, uh, anyways, I'm finna go ahead and get off this video. Uh, also, y'all, I got a podcast channel. So, make sure y'all go ahead and check that podcast channel out, man. It's in the link description box below. Uh, make I did my first podcast today, so go ahead and check it out, bro. Uh, where we talk about faith and nothing but, you know, just just trying to bring cl people closer to Christ. And we're gonna be talking about so many different stuff on that podcast. So, go ahead and check it out, man. The link description box below. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Uh, yeah, man. Hit the like button. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, God bless, stay blessed. Peace.